Hi, Julia. Hi, Carly. How are you? I'm so good. How are you? Good. Thanks for being here for Picnic Playlist. Thanks for having me. Oh my God. Anytime. So <laughs> I love having picnics. And every time I have a picnic, I think the music is really important, actually essential to my picnic. Mm -hmm. So I was hoping today that you and I could create our own picnic playlist together. I would love that. Okay. I love a picnic. So this right? is so my vibe. The vibes, yeah. the aesthetic, it's mm -hmm. just, it's giving. Yeah. Okay. Good, especially in a theater. In a, a picnic in a theater? We're currently at Classic Stage Company <laughs> in the theater because you will be doing I Can Get It For You wholesale here this October. Yeah. So it feels right to do a picnic in a theater. It feels like a good like christening for like... For the run to come. For, yeah. So <laughs> let's do it. Okay. Yeah. Picnic playlist. My first question for you is, do you have a song that made you fall in love with theater? <gasps> oh my God, that's a big question. A song that made me fall in love with theater. My parents are performers, so I, oh I grew up seeing them in like cabaret shows and like dinner theater concert style things. And so I feel like my parents always sang a lot of like classic musical theater songs in that maybe like oh god i guess i'll just have to say like tomorrow from annie because i just wanted to be annie not that my parents were singing that song but i just like wanted to be annie so badly so i guess maybe yeah. that's the song that made me want to fall in love with theater i never played annie that's like my biggest that's a crime actually it's like the biggest regret of my life is like never playing annie well it's never too late so that's if true. anybody hears this Julia Lester really wants to play Annie. I really do. And I need to hear you sing tomorrow, actually, at some point in my life. So. Okay, we'll make that happen. Well, yeah, yeah. just be aware. Okay. Do you have a song that reminds you of your Broadway debut? Oh, Sarah Bareilles singing Moments in the Woods is like very nostalgic sounding. I mean, I listen to the album sometimes like just to feel like the memories and remember sort yeah. of the time that was in. And anytime I hear her sing, I feel like it transports me back um, to when we were doing that show. And obviously I'm just like the biggest Sarah fan. So anything that she sings, I feel like I can associate with a time in my life. So the fact that I can associate her singing a song from Into the Woods to a time when I was in a show with her is like ridiculous. So I, yeah. I oh my God, I yeah. love that so much. And when you were doing it at Encores, did you think it was gonna go to Broadway? Did you know it was gonna <laughs> go to Broadway? I mean, it's such like a huge statement to be like, this show's gonna go to Broadway because you know, anything can happen. Towards like the second week of shows, I think all of us were like, oh, this is really special. The audience like is yeah. receiving this really well. And there seems to be this like really cool energy that's being created from the show. So there was like little whispers like the second week we were doing the show of like, oh, maybe like, are you going to go if it goes, whatever, you know. I mean, yeah. I saw it at Encores and I was like, I have to see this again. Yeah. And it, luckily I did. Yeah. And you were so fantastic <gasps> at it. Thank you. So congratulations. And now you're, you're a big Broadway star, <laughs> which brings us to our next question, mm -hmm. which you're doing, I can get it for you wholesale at Classic Stage Company this yeah. fall. Is there a song that you're most excited to perform or to hear or to work on in the show? Yeah, I feel like my answer to that question will evolve as we like get into rehearsals and I like hear, I mean like Judy Kuhn is in the show and like I haven't even, you know, so I feel like my answer will evolve once I like see it up on its feet but I think for now it's been a long time since I've been involved in like a big like ensemble number like as much as Into the Woods is like an ensemble piece there's no like big classic musical theater like ensemble number and there yeah. is one in wholesale called Ballad of the Garment Trade and there's like some dancing too and you're gonna be dancing I hope so you're gonna be dancing I hope so crossing my fingers I don't know oh if God. secretaries dance but I, I hope I so for you. I think this secretary can dance. This secretary can dance. You heard it here first. <laughs> Thank you. Barbara Streisand played this role mm -hmm. back in the day. What does it mean to be doing a role that is played by such an iconic person originally? It's very, I'm so like grateful and honored. It's a very big responsibility. But I also feel like very encouraged to make it my own and like not you know, be a carbon copy of, no one can be a carbon copy of Barbara Streisand. So I think that was like the first thing I was like, I, I think that was like a good thing to get in my body is like, I'm 
I'm not going to be her. I'm never going to be her. She, I look up to her, and I can take as much inspiration as I want from her, but, like, she is the one and only. So as long as I, like, have that in my mind, I, you know, I can I can do it in the, the Julia Lester way and see Absolutely. If, and, it, and you can bring yeah. it to a whole new generation of people yeah. who don't know what the show is yeah. because it is a revival, but I think lots of people don't know what it is because it yeah. hasn't been done here in New York for a while. So yeah. that's going to be so exciting for people yeah. to come and see. This is a fun one always for me. <laughs> so you're going to be doing a show here and you're getting ready in your dressing room before. Mm -hmm. What's your get ready with me song? Oh, I only started this recently. I did Secret Garden in LA and I made like a playlist that reminded me of my character. So it wasn't mm -hmm. necessarily songs that I listened to on a daily basis, but songs that like felt a little like whimsical Inspired and Martha. By, yes. Yeah. Yes. So I Maybe I'll do that for this show too. So okay. I don't, I don't know what they are yet because I haven't like, I haven't figured out like her thing yet. But I'm assuming there's gonna be some Barbara on there. There I better mean, be. That would be that would be sacrilegious if I didn't have her on there. Absolutely. So, yeah. Is there a song that reminds you of Tony Award season? Because oh. you were a Tony nominee. Is there a song yeah. that reminds you of that time in your life? That's a great question. My, I remember my sister being DJ, because she was like, do you realize it's silent in here? It was like literally silent while I was getting ready, and she was like, you can play music. You needed like, some hype of music, I didn't for realize sure. it was like... It's a big day. Yeah, quiet. It's a big day. So yeah. I probably had her just put on the Baby Queen soundtrack, or playlist. To, yeah. Yeah. I like things that are familiar to like yeah. settle me, so probably that. And I have to say <laughs> that I did watch your video of you getting a Tony nomination oh. like a million times oh. because it is so precious. Oh, How was thanks. that moment? That was, it was really cool. I, um, I, I'm obsessed with videos of people like finding out news, whether that's like, or like gender reveal, like any video, sort of news, sort of video a reaction where, video. Where, yeah, where someone's mm -hmm. being surprised by something or like meeting somebody for the first time or whatever. So I knew that like, I wanted to capture some sort of something on that day. So that was very cool. And I was with like my favorite people in the world, my mom and dad, my two sisters, and my girlfriend were there. So it was like the, the perfect group of people to be there for whatever news happened. And it happened to be. That's so special. Yeah. So now it's time for a little snack break. Okay. So we have some options. We have some chips. We have some pickles. What are you leaning towards? I will always eat a pickle. Okay. Always. I think that feels right. Okay. So also my foot is you. falling asleep. See the bottom Should of my Should we stretch? Car. Oh, oh, they're fine. They're fine. Oh my God, the gibbets they're are fine. so cute. Thank you. I love those. Thank you. For you. <gasps> Thank you. I'll, Please, I'm you can you can keep them during fingers. if you want. Yeah. Are they spicy? Are they no. spicy? Did I get you spicy pickles? I live. <laughs> oh, you like? Oh, I live for a spicy pickle. No, these are just like coffee. Really I love spicy yeah. pickle. Um, really good. <laughs> no, this is, this is, this is a good thing. Yeah. Pickle. Okay, now that we finished our snack break, mm -hmm. it is time for picnic playlist speed round okay. questions. Okay. You ready? Sure. Okay. First question is favorite Taylor Swift song? <laughs> Mastermind. <gasps> That's such a good one. Go to karaoke song. Domino by Jesse J. <gasps> oh my God, love. Okay. Song from a dream role of yours. <gasps> Tomorrow from Annie. <laughs> Tomorrow from Annie, again. Just bring it right back around. Um, it always comes back to Annie. Yeah. Uh, song of the summer 2023 for you. Oh. It's definitely a song from the Barbie movie. <gasps> yes. Oh, prob uh, the really sad Billie Eilish song. I don't know if oh that encapsulates God. the summer, but that's been on repeat it's gorgeous. In, in my house. And our last question I heard is. A picnic. <gasps> What? Oh my God! Who, who's here? Larry oh Saberstein, welcome. I brought, I special delivery. Oh my God, cheese! I just for cheese. me. Thank you. Just to see my friends. Oh my God! <laughs> I'm so you. happy you're here for the picnic. Thanks for being Please, here. Please come on in. I come even join. I have a card. How'd that happen? I found it on the street. That's crazy. You that should is, keep track of your card. That's together. crazy. I I'll work that's on that. Good, that's bad. Um, while you're here. Do you want to ask the last rapid fire <gasps> question? Okay, Julia Lester, yes, Broadway Lester. star. Uh -huh. Your final question okay. is, what is your favorite Broadway song of all time? Ooh, good question. Of all time. <laughs> that's a big question. Uh, Tomorrow for Annie. <laughs> right, that's my answer. You could play Annie too. <gasps> 
Look I, you guys can double cast, split the role, yeah. split track. Well, really? <laughs> I, I thought maybe like two separate productions. But that works that's, too. It would be very too. different production. That, <laughs> um, probably something from Les Mis. That's like the most like nostalgic. That's a very nostalgic show for me. So maybe like one day more. I mean, really epic, you know? Epic. Uh, I feel like that's a good answer. <sighs> yes. Yeah. Oh my god, amazing. Yeah. Do you want to stay for our last little part of the Do picnic? You want some cheese? It's up to you. Please stay. Take some cheese. Wow. Gorgeous. Take the little cheddar. Yeah, terrific. Um, <laughs> gorgeous. <laughs> All right, so we're wrapping up our picnic, sadly. No. But I know, but to wrap it up, I was hoping we could play Picnic Playlist Karaoke. Oh. Where out of all the songs we spoke about today, you pick one and you give me a little something. Oh my god. I wish I didn't pick a song where they all belt. Mm. I hope you're warm. <clears throat> like, should I sing tomorrow from Annie? <laughs> I mean, this whole I really want to hear has become it. me talking about Annie. Yeah. All right. What if I was like, when I'm stuck with a day? <laughs> Actually, I'm going to do that jazzy version. When I'm stuck with a day, <laughs> day that's gray and lonely. I have like a little like fedora on. Yeah. Can you tell? I just stick up my chin and grin and say, hey, yo. <laughs> Yes. The sun will come out. That was for tomorrow. you to join. Tomorrow. Spend your bottom dollar that tomorrow. There'll be <laughs> cheese. There'll be cheese. <laughs> How Good. Was that? that was great. Oh, great, you that guys. Was great. Woo! Um, I feel like this was a fantastic picnic. I think so too. Um, Julia, thank you so much for picnicking with me today. Thanks for having me. Larry, thank you for stopping oh by God. at our picnic. I never, I could, I could never resist a picnic with my two friends. I mean, come on. It's just the best ever. I mean, Everyone, so go see Julia Lester, and I can get it for you wholesale this fall at Classic Stage Company. It's gonna be so good. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye.